I've been diagnosed with myasthenia gravis, which is essentially an interruption of the nervous impulses traveling from the brain to the muscles, and it's interrupted at the neuromuscular junction. I've been diagnosed of inflammatory myopathy. I was diagnosed in December 2007. I had the uh, spondylosis on the uh, cervical and then on the lumbar. And I had a uh, surgery on the cervical. And I came out of the surgery with a uh, zima free. I have an autoimmune disease um, which is, I have to say, not as serious as other people have, uh, have, have known and even met with at, at share care, uh, you know, including people in my family. Um, I've had um, a thyroid ailment that has presented in different forms. I've, ha I've been hyperthyroid, I've had Graves' disease. I've also had subacute thyroiditis. And now I have, um, I'm hypo. Share Care Ghana is an association of people with autoimmune and neurological conditions in Ghana including our families and caregivers. Autoimmune diseases were thought to be rare, but are now being found in increasing numbers in Ghana, and many are going undiagnosed. It all started by 79. 79 and then it started. I had to tell you that I had a problem. I had to call the doctor. It all started with my problems in 99. I have both of them in a fracture. I have to go to POP. 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 The crutches in the U.S. last year. I have to go to POP. 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 It's taken more than 30 years to be diagnosed, really. If I really tell you from I started complaining very seriously about these symptoms about 25 years ago. I went to neurologist, I was misdiagnosed with epilepsy, I was put on epilepsy medication, I was put on various medications which I now know are contraindicated for the condition that I've um, been diagnosed with. Out of 100 members of Sheke Ghana with similar and familiar symptoms, only 37 have been diagnosed with autoimmune or neurological conditions. I must have seen about uh, four doctors and then I eventually ended up in South Africa. Uh, South Africa, they were not too sure about it. They said it was some human shock fake link virus or something, I don't know, HLD2 or something like that. It sounded like <laughs> something else. Um, but I finally got my diagnosis, diagnosis after four years in the US. Um, when I just went to see a general practitioner, and, and he, he, he took one look at me and he said, Go and test for MS. You know? And I went, and I had a series of tests, and it was confirmed. For this reason, we wish to bring autoimmunity under the doctor's radar when they are examining their patients. My sthenics usually have quite um, noticeably drooping eyelids, but because mine are not extreme, I'm not classic, because I'm not extreme, it was never detected. But when this guy said it, I didn't think it was anything. But when I mentioned it to the neurosurgeon, he just, the way he sat up and then said, ah, you've got to do the tensilon test. We are aware that autoimmunity has yet to be embraced by the medical community as a category of disease because the diseases cross the different medical specialties such as rheumatology, endocrinology, hematology, neurology, cardiology, gastroenterology, nephrology, and dermatology. I was having trouble walking, my balance was uncoordinated, and during my second pregnancy I was having problems with my First time they diagnosed me with TM, I wasn't TM. So they gave me steroids, the usual treatment, and I got better, I came to Ghana, I got better. I went back and I got worse. I came to Ghana, I got better. <laughs> I went back and I got worse. So basically, I guess Ghana is the good plan for me. And because such specialties usually focus on singular diseases within their particular category, 
there has been virtually no general focus on autoimmunity as the underlying cause. I have family members who have not been so lucky because my sister, um, three years ago, four years ago, started having very acute symptoms and we couldn't diagnose it here. And we found out when we took her abroad to the UK, just on the verge of you know, potential tragedy, that, that she had lupus. We think a classification of autoimmunity, considering our family histories and connecting all the seemingly unrelated symptoms, will lead to quicker diagnosis and save us from the disabling effects of these diseases. If the doctors convince me, if I go on this surgery, I'll be all right. After the surgery on Mr. Baker, they were preparing me for the lumbar surgery. But uh, I feared if I went for this lumbar surgery on lumbar, I may not be able to stand up again. But that's why I didn't, I didn't go, I don't go for this medical analysis again. Early diagnosis makes all the difference in the management and control of our conditions. There was a day I insisted that, you know, I think there was something more to what was happening to me. So I think they should rather refer me to a physician specialist. Even though it was difficult at the initial stages, I was lucky I was given a referral. Our appeal to the doctors is to grant us early referrals when they notice the symptoms of autoimmunity. When people come these days, I advise them on what it could be when I hear people that they've known have suffered a certain ailment and have died, 25, 26 year olds. Symptoms that people mistook in their regions as being AIDS, HIV AIDS, and it, the doctor would have said it's not, they've done the HIV AIDS. I said, could it be lupus? Who knows? We're going on, Dr. Kedem, and call it a lab. A lab in the means can go in into the bare one man to the Mekong Koye. The members of Sheikh Ghana believe that autoimmunity should be accepted as a new disease category and with this recognition have a special place in the National Health Insurance Scheme. Well, I'm back at work. I'm talking to you from work. It, I've built myself up gradually. I'm at work every day now. Initially, I couldn't even um, go to work. I, I couldn't do anything. I, just, I could just about sit up in bed at one point. I slept many hours a day, and even when I wasn't sleeping, I was just lying there. I know the disease. I'm at peace with myself. I, I, I know it's going to get worse. But um, I mean, we're all programmed to self-distract.